this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. <laughs> you actually made me jump there, Lee Bear. That was actually scary. I know you are probably the friendliest looking bear in the world, <laughs> but when you don't expect there to be a bear face in the corner of your screen, whew, it's a, a little bit startling. Look, you made Esther lay an egg. That's how scared she was. You made her lay an egg out of fright. <laughs> Uh, dear. Anyway, I am of course being joined by Lee Bear. I don't need to announce that, seeing as he uh, kind of announced that himself. And I am also going to be joined by Squishy. There we go. That was a less scary way. I'm going to be very briefly joined by Squishy by the looks of things as she runs in and out. She's a very busy duck. She has very important things to do, like running around in circles, for example. <laughs> anyway, it is the morning, which means it is time for breakfast. So if you want to put down my breakfast on the floor the way I like it. Nom, 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 Ah. Ah, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Lee Bear. And to be honest, Lee, it's nice to see you up and moving about after the last episode where you fell asleep. I can't believe that. I don't know why. He's just said that he suddenly felt all tired all of a sudden and fell asleep in the middle of a video. So this time, I want you to stay awake for the full 20 minutes uh, we're going to be building for. All right, then. Let's now go and uh, head over to the, uh, the love garden, shall we? And uh, then I can announce uh, who is the, uh, the new person that I'm going to be adding to it today. And that new person is going to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it's going to be Maddie Watson. And the reason I'm adding Maddie is because uh, she sent me this picture uh, of a thing that she made while she was in hospital. And you can see she got a paper plate and then she got some clay and she made one half me and uh, the other half Squid Nugget. And I think it's really creative, really cool. And I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for making it and uh, sending me the, uh, the picture. And welcome to my love garden. And uh, if you don't know what my love garden is, if you are new here, uh, basically I add someone for the the, uh, to the love garden uh, for a reason like I added Maddie because she did something nice or something cool and creative and I wanted to, to say thank you and uh, uh, share what they did and the one rule of the love garden is that you're not allowed to ask to be added anyway on to the doghouse race uh, at the uh, beginning of episodes uh, me and Lee Bear have been currently having a race to the doghouse and we have a, a new game we're doing Lee Bear the game is the floor is lava and what that means is that we need to pretend that the floor is lava and we need to race to the, the doghouse without touching the floor. Okay, that's what the uh, the challenge is going to be. So we can start behind here. As always, we need to begin by trying to, to get through the uh, the love heart. And then the first one to get to the doghouse without touching any of the floor, none of this grass, none of the wood or anything, uh, then yeah, then they are going to, to be the, the winner. Right, we can begin in three, two, one, go. Ow, 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 gotta jump up, gotta jump up, place the block down, there we go. <laughs> I am not on the, the floor anymore. Right, so we need to pretend the floor is lava. So I'm gonna have to try and build uh, my way to the doghouse. And I first, of course, though, I uh, need to, to get through the, the love hearts. Let's break that rose for now. And there we go. I'm through the, the love heart. That's the uh, the first challenge done. I could just block this off uh, because Lee Bear still needs to get an order. I saw that, Lee Bear. The floor's lava, Lee Bear. Be very careful. <laughs> right, I've got a, a good lead here. I should probably get a move on rather than turning around talking to Lee. I guess if I just place one ahead of me, then I can just jump to it. Aha, this works quite well. Rather than having to, to build the entire way, I can just place a few. And oh, whoa, Lee Bear has caught me up very quickly. I guess if I just borrow his dirt for now, and I, I could climb up here actually. Aha, look, this isn't lava. This isn't the floor. I can climb up to the, the top here, and now I can jump to the roof. Oh, he's followed me. He's covered me. He's copied my tactic. Right, I can jump along this rooftop, but I'm not allowed to land on the floor. If I go and land on this fence down here... And uh, then I can place uh, a dirt block there and then there as well. Remember, you're not allowed to touch any of the floor, even by the doghouse. I need to place it as I land. There we go. I didn't touch the floor. And then I... Oh, okay. We need to be very careful here. We're kind of blocking ourselves with this. How are we going to get in here without touching the floor? This is going to be the biggest challenge yet. Um, right, I know what to do. If I take away the, the roof <laughs> like this and then if I... Uh, uh, okay, there's still a door in the way. You stay back, Lee Bear. I know you're going to try and jump in. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I nearly hit the floor. There we go. And there we go. I think I did it. I was just about first. <laughs> that was, that was fun. That was actually a really fun new way to, to race to the doghouse. And I only just uh, was able to win, which means I get to choose which dog. And I'm going to take Luna with me today. There you go, Luna. You can come and uh, join us. I'm also going to take these uh, lovely jubblies with me. And actually, I'm going to take a, um, a few pork chops as well, just in case... Uh, 
uh, Luna gets a little bit peckish uh, while we're out building. Anyway, I should probably announce what it is that we are, are going to, to be building today, and I am very uh, excited to, to be building this because this is going to be one of, if not the biggest thing I have ever built in my lovely world. It's certainly going to be the tallest thing. It is going to be over 100 blocks high. And if you think about it, like from here to there is one, two, three, four, five. Like, that's like five blocks high there. Imagine a hundred blocks high. It's going to be massive. And the thing we're going to be building is a clock tower. And uh, one, uh, I want to build it just because I think it's going to look uh, really cool being tall up. And uh, also, it's going to have two things in it. The bottom is going to be a clock shop, which is going to be called the TikTok shop. And then at the very top, there's going to be a tea shop where I'm going to sell tea. <laughs> and uh, that is going to be called uh, the, the tea time uh, tea shop, uh, which is going to be at the, the very top. And then there's going to be a, a huge tower uh, in the, the middle leading up to it. And uh, yeah, so uh, for starters today, uh, we are going to be building uh, kind of like the, the foundations, I guess. Uh, we're going to be building the uh, the bottom uh, of it, and uh, also we're going to be uh, building the, uh, the the shop, the uh, the clock shop, or at least building uh, the building where it's uh, going to, to be. So it's going to be uh, quite wide at the the bottom, and then the um, uh, the actual tower is going to go quite thin. And then it's going to be quite big at the, the top again, because uh, that's where the, the clock's going to be. And uh, you can also see uh, I have a, uh, a very big sheep pen here. Well, I guess it's a, a sheep and a duck pen at the moment, because uh, <laughs> Squishy's keeping the, uh, the sheep entertained. And that is because uh, a lot of the, the tower is going to be made out of stone as well as dark grey wool. And because the tower's going to be so big, it's, uh, it's a pretty big task uh, to get enough wool. And we don't actually have enough yet. And I'm going to keep a bit of cobblestone on me, because I think I might need that. Uh, but yeah, we haven't got enough wool yet. Uh, but yeah, every now and then we just run in here and we go snip, 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 and go and snip them all. And then we come back again in a few minutes and do the exact same thing again. Uh, and then that way we can uh, get enough water to build to the, the top. But it is taking a very, very long time. But we don't need to worry about that too much for today. Uh, because today uh, we're not building the, the actual tower. Uh, we're building the, the bottom of it. And really, Lee, is that the place you decided to, to put the crafting table right in front of the gate? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. All right, then I'm going to go and make my own crafting table down here. And uh, we can start beginning. So uh, it's going to be made out of a lot of smooth stone, uh, but smooth stone uh, done in different ways. We're going to have a, a lot of these uh, stone slabs. Uh, we're also going to have lots of uh, the stone bricks as well, as I'm going to go and make myself a, a whole bunch of uh, these as well. Uh, we're also going to have stone brick stairs, and there's going to be grey wool, and also uh, even some stone brick buttons as well. So let me go and uh, show you how this uh, design's going to be. So I'm going to start uh, down here in the, the corner about here, and then the bottom row is going to be alternating between smooth stone and then these uh, smooth stone half slabs. I really like the, uh, the look uh, of uh, doubling up. Uh, these are uh, half slams like this. Uh, I think it just makes uh, quite a, a cool effect. And it's going to be uh, like that uh, going up to the, the top of the, the tower as well. So uh, this is the, the foundation. So as I said, this is going to be a lot wider. And oh, looks like uh, <laughs> Squishy kind of ran straight into this block and then fell out of the, the game for some reason. But hopefully uh, she's going to be able to, to join back in in a, in a second. But anyway, let's go and uh, keep building uh, along here. And uh, this actually needs to be 17 blocks wide. So let me just go and uh, count how wide this is. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. 17 blocks wide. So now uh, we need to go and build the uh, entire bottom. So Lee Bear, uh, can you carry on uh, doing this pattern? And uh, you as well, Squashy. If you do this uh, the whole way round, we have a big square. So we need to go until it's 17 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we need to go to, to there, I think. And then that way, uh, we're going have a, a big square uh, which is going to be the uh, the bottom of it and uh, now I'm going to go and start building up the uh, the front here so uh, Lee Bear's already uh, helped me out by starting a bit uh, we're then going to have a, a strip of this uh, this darker grey wall uh, which is going to go uh, along here and uh, then we're going to have a, a doorway in the middle here so Squishy can you help Lee Bear and uh, do the uh, the strip around the, the bottom down there and I'm going to carry on building the uh, the front here so let me just go and build this uh, all the way along to here and I think where this gap is here is uh, where the, uh, the doorway is going to be the the entrance. It's kind of funny having this a uh, huge big tower. Then there's going to be like one little wooden door in the the middle down there. I think it's quite funny, but <laughs> I think I think it will look good. I, th I think it will look uh, quite cool once we've uh, finished it. So let's go and uh, I'm going to jump up here, make myself a little temporary staircase, and I'm going to carry on building to the the top because it's going to start. 
uh, getting uh, thinner uh, once we get a, a little bit higher up uh, because then that is where the the actual tower is going to start so let me go and uh, build these stone bricks the the whole way along here and then on top of that uh, we're going to have the uh, the pattern uh, the same as the the bottom row so we're going to be having these uh, stone slabs as well as the uh, the the normal stone here as well and as I always call it smooth stone but it's not technically smooth stone is it it's just stone I mean I can't imagine it being particularly smooth but I always can't help calling it smooth stone I don't know I always call cobblestone stone I think so I think that's why I always say that so let's go and build these along here and then eventually uh, we're going to be adding some buttons on here as well uh, just to make it look a little bit more 3d so let's actually go and do that now just so I can see uh, what it looks like so on uh, all of these uh, there's just going to be these uh, stone buttons like this kind of just to make it look a, a little bit more realistic I guess you know rather than it being completely flat I think uh, uh, having these little like pokey out bits uh, is kind of like what you see in, uh, in real buildings as well so let's go and uh, build this uh, along to here and uh, then uh, we need to go and start it sloping in a little bit so I need to go and uh, start making some uh, stone brick stairs so uh, let me go here and uh, grab all of these uh, stone bricks I'm going to make uh, a few more of these and then I'm going to make uh, a bunch of them uh, into these uh, stone brick stairs and uh, then that's how we're going to go and start sloping in but it's not going to be uh, a perfect slope uh, we're going to be alternating between the uh, the stairs uh, as well as the uh, the stone as well so excuse me squishy <laughs> as I go and uh, jump my my way up here and uh, now it's going to be I guess kind of a little bit like uh, you might imagine a castle it's going to be kind of alternating like this so some are going to be steps and uh, some are going to be these uh, stairs as well and it's actually getting pretty dark so it might be a good idea to go to bed oh look we're by the hotel I love it when we're building by the the hotel because rather than just throwing down beds anywhere it means we can actually go and sleep in a, a nice hotel room for a bit so <laughs> I've now done this uh, row here uh, let's all go and uh, have a quick break uh, in the uh, the hotel of dreams and uh, we can go and uh, have a, a nice little nap and then carry on building in the the morning so if everyone just goes and pick which room they want to go to I am going to I'm going to go to the penthouse I know I often go to the penthouse but I do like the the penthouse I love the the view up there because the, the thing was when I was building this hotel, I was talking about how big it was going to be and how you'd have like an amazing view over the, the entire land. The thing we're building now is like probably about three times the height. <laughs> so this seemed like so tall at the, the moment, but soon we're going to be looking out and uh, seeing, yeah, a whole big tower uh, even higher up. And it is also uh, going to be a little bit uh, like a, a viewing tower. So at the, the very top of the, the clock, uh, you're going to be able to go to the very peak and there's going to be a little door there. Uh, so you can actually just go and climb it all the way to the the top and then you can just go and look over the the entire land uh, if you want so it's going to be uh, kind of like a, a viewing tower uh, a clock tower a tea shop and a, uh, a clock shop as well so it's a, a very multi-purpose uh, building and it looks like we have a little bit of a <laughs> a little bit of a, a meet up on the the elevator on the, the way back down right then uh, let's go and uh, carry on building it looks like uh, my minecraft helpers are doing a great progress uh, building all of the the other sides uh, so now i need to go up to the the top here and uh, carry on building this side i keep needing to extend my little dirt staircase here uh, so now uh, we're going to go one in and uh, one up as well so if i go and uh, put down uh, this this block here uh, I then uh, need to basically alternate the the pattern uh, so it's the opposite to what it was before so I'm going to put a step down there and then I'm going to put this block down and then a step and I'm going to keep alternating uh, the entire way around like this so you can see how it's kind of getting in thinner uh, but it's not just like a, a very obvious slope like I often do with stairs and then the the next row is actually going to be uh, where the the tower is uh, so for once uh, we're not actually going to, to be building a, a roof because the roof won't be here the roof's going to be about a hundred blocks <laughs> right up there so uh, it's actually going to be uh, left open uh, while we're building the uh, the clock shop so we just need to uh, to hope it doesn't rain or maybe we could put in a, uh, a temporary roof or something so let's go and uh, build this uh, along to, to here and uh, then we need to just try and basically make it match up I realize I think I did it a little bit wrong I kind of need to to go and make it go around the the corner like this actually no I think this is okay because if it then goes around the the corner like this and uh, we can go and carry on the the same pattern like that and then this side uh, yeah it's going to go like this then and that way it actually fits in perfectly so uh, once this has gone the the entire way around uh yeah the the next thing to do for the the tower is to is to to actually build the the, the bit that's going to go straight up uh, but yeah as i said
said, we're not going to be doing the, the tower next. Uh, first, I'm going to go and get the, the actual uh, clock shop 100% uh, done. And I've actually come up with a, um, a few pretty cool designs uh, for uh, different types of uh, clocks uh, that we can build in. We're going to do like a grandfather clock, some wall clocks, as well as a, uh, a cuckoo clock as well. We're going to go <laughs> and uh, try and build, which is uh, going to be quite funny. So let's just go and uh, keep building this around here. And I think once I've got to the end of this wall, I'm going to jump down and uh, then we can go and actually start building some of the uh, the inside of the, the shop so I can show you uh, what that's going to, to look like. And there we go. Uh, that's uh, got round to here. Uh, so let's go down. I actually want to show you because I hadn't really mentioned it is that all of this land here uh, is just built. This is all just one block thick. I just basically extended this uh, entire area here as we can have a, a whole load of uh, other shops and things along here. We're getting very close to the, the fun land now. But what it does mean is that we can play Spontaneous Spleef. And a Spontaneous Spleef is like normal Spleef, but basically uh, we go inside of here and uh, we break away the ground and whoever the uh, the last person to fall is, uh, is the uh, is the winner. So does everyone have their, their shovels? Uh, Lee Bear, do you want to have a, a quick uh, break from, from building? and jump down here and basically the last person still up is the is the winner so let's go and uh, block the uh, the doorway off and then we can go and begin the game so spontaneous spleef can start in three two one go 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 so we need to try and break away the the floor and make everyone break down and this is always one of my my favorite games to play uh, one because it's fun uh, but two because it's also helpful even though uh, we're playing a game uh, we're also doing what we actually need to do and uh, destroying all of the the ground because that's what we're going to be doing anyway uh, but it's always good when you can do work in a fun way <laughs> and looks like a uh, squishy's already dropped luckily there does seem to be uh, water underneath us so it doesn't seem too painful and it looks like she's continuing uh, destroying the uh, the ground from the uh, from the the underneath now so me and Libe uh, do have to be very careful I think I heard her shovel break though uh, so uh, yeah I think she's gonna be destroying them slowly but we gotta we gotta be careful still it uh, looks like there's a, a cake in the middle that could kind of be like a bit of a, a safety island you could stand on <laughs> unless they break away the cake and Libe is getting a little bit stuck there. He's a little bit stuck against the wall. Oh, he's charging down and oh no! <laughs> he knocked me down as well, which means Lee Bear is the winner. But if I just do this, there we go. We all fell down. <laughs> well done, Lee Bear. You won this round of Spontaneous Spleef. And there we go. We've also uh, al almost got rid of all of the uh, the floor as well. See how fun and efficient that game is uh, to, to play? Uh, so yeah, we need to go and start filling in uh, the, the actual floor then. And the, uh, the floor is going to be made out of a uh, white wall. So if I go and uh, climb up here a little bit, I can go and uh, start filling uh, this place in with the uh, with the the white wall, and then we're actually uh, going to be able to to walk around up here. And so uh, the design of the the shop is going to be quite simple. I want it to be a kind of modern looking clock shop. And uh, I was actually looking up uh, clock shops online because I have nothing better to do with my time. <laughs> and I was looking, and uh, I saw that the walls uh, kind of they're, they're a bit like grids. They kind of have like indents, like in stripes the whole way along. And uh, that is so you can attach the uh, the clocks uh, to the uh, to the wall and so what I thought I'd do is if I use uh, birch wood uh, the uh, the wooden planks because they kind of have these uh, stripes on it actually looks uh, very similar uh, to the uh, the types of uh, walls you actually see in uh, in real clock shops so that's what the uh, the walls are going to be made out of and so we're just going to build uh, one in so rather than having this uh, horrible stone uh, for the the inside walls it's going to be the uh, the nice birch uh, wood planks so that's going to be uh, the design we're we're going to have in here uh, but first things first uh, we need to go and try and finish off filling in uh, all of this uh, this floor in here so uh, yeah I want to get this done. Uh, as quickly as possible and uh, then we kind of have our blank canvas uh, but there is going to be something else uh, inside of this uh, room that we uh, need to build and that is uh, going to be the uh, uh, the entrance to the the tower there's going to be basically one straight ladder that is going to go uh, through the the very middle of the uh, of the tower. So in the very middle of the room, there's going to be a little doorway, and uh, behind there, uh, there's going to to be a ladder, and then you've got to climb up that the entire way up the tower. So it is going to take a little bit of time <laughs> uh, to get up to the the top. It'd be quicker than if I did a staircase though. So that is the uh, the one good thing. Uh, so yeah, it's just going to be one straight ladder uh, leading the the whole way through the the middle. Uh, so if we can, we can try and build the uh, the entrance to to that as well uh, in the the very middle of the the room so let me just go and uh, carry on building down here until i run out of wool and uh, then yeah we can go and start building the the walls uh, as well as the um as well as the the ceiling as well which is just going to be a uh, stone just to try and make it uh, match the the rest of the the area so i've pretty much uh, run out of wool now and oh there's something else that i didn't mention uh, we're also going to be using some never quartz and uh, the reason for that is uh, one because i just quite like the uh, the look of never quartz so i like building out uh, building with them whenever i like uh, but also uh, the uh, the clock face uh, once we get to, to building that 
that is going to be made out of these uh, these nether quartz as well. So I always like when building to decide about, you know, about five or six different blocks and then try and build everything out of uh, them uh, just to make sure it matches, you know, rather than just uh, placing down random blocks all over the place, uh, which can make things kind of look a little bit messy. I kind of like just to decide a, a few things that I want to build out of and then build everything out of them. Uh, so then that way it all kind of fits in nicely. So now let's go and uh, build in this uh, nether quartz along the, the top here as well. And uh, then uh, we just need to go and fill in all of the, the walls uh, with the, the birch wood. And I also realized I haven't really sorted out where the uh, the door's going to be properly. It looks uh, a little bit messy here. So what I might do is I might go and uh, change uh, this wall uh, into these uh, stone bricks as well and kind of do this as the, the doorway and then we can go and uh, put the, the door down here. I always feel like putting the, the door down is kind of a, a nice way to properly mark something as a building. Like we're kind of building a few walls and like a ceiling and things but it doesn't properly feel like a, a building until you've got a, a doorway. Then it feels like we've feels like we've made it official. You know when you're doing a boat? You know when you've got to like smash the uh, uh, the champagne bottle on the side or something? <laughs> That's kind of like christening the, the boat. I feel like with a building I think you've got to put the uh, put the door shut the door on the the building is the way you christen a, a building and <laughs> can give it its name right so there we go this is a uh, uh, the uh, the outside looking uh, pretty nice to be honest uh, so now we just need to go inside and uh, try and decorate in here a little bit it looks like Lee Bear's already made uh, a good start I've got a, a whole load of uh, birch on me as well sorry I should be saying birch shouldn't I <laughs> I always like to say spruce in a in a low voice and then birch in a in a higher pitch voice as well I don't know why <laughs> I guess I guess like talking about different types of wood could normally be like quite a boring thing so if you start doing it in a silly voice it just makes it more fun like saying that saying about anything in a silly voice just makes it sound more fun like what's what's probably the most boring conversation you could say um i went to the shop to buy a newspaper but they didn't have any newspapers like that's a really boring conversation a really boring sentence but if you went Oh, I went down to the shop to buy a newspaper, but they didn't have any newspapers. <laughs> if you just say it in a silly voice like that, it just makes it instantly more fun, doesn't it? <laughs> you might get a few funny looks if you start speaking, you know, about everything like that, but it still makes it more fun. <laughs> anyway, this is where the um uh, the the beginning uh, to the the tunnel leading up is going to be. Is this the exact middle of the room? I think it might be. I think I kind of lined it up quite nicely. So then uh, we're also going to have some uh, some of these walls uh, up like this, the uh, the same way as we we did before. And then once again, there's going to be another little doorway there and then one ladder uh, leading straight up the, the middle uh, that you're going to be able to, to use to get to the, the very top of the uh, the clock tower. So there we go. This is a, a pretty good start on the, the TikTok clock shop, <laughs> which, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, continuing to, to build in the, the next episode. So in the next episode, uh, we can go and uh, add in the, the ceiling and uh, then I'll spend the, the rest of the episode uh, showing all of my cool different decorations and styles I have uh, for the, uh, the different clocks that we uh, can be selling. Uh, so yeah, make sure you... Uh, check back then uh, to, to see that video uh, but for now I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later